Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today I am going to explain you about the topic invoice holds and releases. We can use manage invoice holds and releases page to define hold and release for invoices. What happens when you activate this option of hold, then the invoices can't be paid in which this hold is applicable or activated by you until and unless you release that hold. So if you want any invoice not to get proceeded with the payment, then you can just put hold on it. And when you want to proceed with the payment, you can just release the hold. Now there are two types of hold. One is created by the system itself and one you can manually create the hold. System holds are like hold, like when we create an invoice, we need to give an invoice amount and under lines also we need to give the amount and when we go to the distributions there also we give the amount. So the amount in this three step should be equal. If there are any variances between this then the system will automatically create a hold on it and until and unless you not correct it system hold will apply and when this is corrected system automatically release the hold. So this was the one example of system hold and it can be uh, another example can be insufficient fund. If you have insufficient fund, then also system provides a hold on that invoice. Right now, manual holds. These are the holds which we can create on the invoice. Like I can use one example of manual hold. If you don't have amount in your bank account, so you can just make a manual hold for the same and activate that on the invoices. And when you have that, uh, when you have the amount in your bank account, then you can just release that hold and can proceed with the payment. So these were the two types of the holds. Now, hold you can give at the three levels. One, as I discussed in the example, invoice. You can put a hold and release at invoice level by using the task or page manage invoice hold and release. Next, at business unit level. So you can just go to invoice options and just enable a checkbox of hold unmatched invoices. So from there also you can create a hold. Then at supply level, while creating a supplier site, you can also activate a hold and release from there. Now we will go to the application and see how it is done there. Now, after logging to the application from Navigator, go to Payables. Under Payables, go to Invoices. Now, from task list, go to create invoice. Now we will see how system will create a hold by itself. Just select a supplier here. Give supplier number. Give amount. At lines, give amount other than 100, like 95. I'm giving 95 here. And give distribution combination. Select an account. Search. Search any expense account here. Say OK. OK. Now, go to invoice action and validate.
Now you can see that status is coming, needs revalidation. Just click on that. You can see that under holds, system holds, one hold is coming. You can see that it is coming line variance, total of li invoice line does not equal invoice amount. So when you're going to, under release going to give anything like amount approved or anything, you can see that an, info, uh, an error is coming. You can't manually release this type of hold, resolve the whole condition and resubmit the invoice for validation. So this is the system generated hold and it cannot be released by by manually act by manual actions so you need to correct this error and again validate the invoice for releasing this hold so here as i have given 95 give here 100 and again validate the invoice Give you a hundred. Now, after correcting the invoice amount, when you will validate, system will automatically release this hold. So this was an example of system generated holds. Now we will see how we can give an hold manually, right? So for this, we need to go to the task or page manage invoice holds and release. So for this. Go to setup and maintenance. Then go to manage implementation projects. Search for the project and select. Search for the task. Manage. Invoice. Hold and release. Now go to manage invoice holds and release. Go to task. Here you can see number of holds and release has been created and tested. Now we are going to create a new hold. So for that, just click on this add icon here. Give the type invoice hold reason because we are creating the hold. Then give the name that I'm giving here. Dell no funds. In description, you can give the same Dell no funds then allow accounting and allow manual release if you will not allow manual release then you uh, this hold when when this hold will get activated it will not allow you to release the same manually so enabling this is mandatory now just save and close We have created one manual hold. Now we will create one manual release. So just click on this add icon to create. Give type as invoice release reason. Give name anything I'm giving Dell funds. Description. Dell funds. Now just save and close. This is how we have created our manual hold and manual release. Now we will go to the invoice and see how it's work. So for that, go to navigator. Then from tables, go to invoices. Now Go to task list, go to create invoice. 
Now give here information, your supplier. Give invoice number. Give amount. Give lines, invoice lines. Select distribution combination. Select an account. Search for any expense account here. Select and say OK. OK. Now go to invoice actions under that go to manage holds click on this add icon here give the hold you want which we have created as dell no funds so we have created and hold just save and close the same so we have created one manual hold here. Now we will go back to the invoice action and validate this invoice. Let's see what happens. The needs revalidation is coming. Just click here. You can see that manual hold is coming. Just click on that. You can see that Dell no fund. This, the, this was the hold which we have created. Now for releasing this manual hold, under release, select our release, which we have created, Dell funds, save and close. Now again, go to invoice action and validate the invoice. Now, you can see that under manual holds, nothing is coming. One system hold is coming. Line variance due to line variance. Okay. What happened in this invoice? Tax, tax calculation was active. So therefore, after validating, the total is coming 1095. And we have given here as 1000. So because of this tax amount, this variance is coming. When I will do this amount as 1095 and go to validate. You can see here. Going to system hold. This hold has been released. A new hold is coming of funds due to insufficient fund. When in the system sufficient fund will be available, at that time system will release that hold also. So this was all about the holds and release how it is done manually. Now, if you want to put this, that hold and release at the business unit level. So for that, what we need to do is, we need to go to the task invoice options. So we need to go to setup and maintenance for that. Then from task list, we will go to manage implementation project. Now we will search and select our project. 
Now under this task bar, search for the task invoice option. Just click on that. Manage invoice option, go to task. Now here you can see under invoice entry, hold unmatched invoices is coming. You just enable this. When you enable this, all the invoices belonging to this business unit, US1 business unit will be hold if they are unmatched with the purchase order. So if you want to act, um, give that kind of hold at the level of business unit, you can just enable this. Right now, uh, it is not required, so I'm not enabling this. Just cancel the same. Now we will see how at the supplier level we can create this hold and release. What happens when we will create the supplier at supplier side, if we will enable under the invoicing tab, this hold and release, then for that supplier, all the invoices will get hold. So I'm just showing how it is done. Go to the navigator. Under procurement, go to suppliers. creating supplier, you can go to create supplier and while creating supplier side, you can give this hold, but right now I'm showing on the supplier, which is already created in the system. Add it. Go to sites, edit. Under invoicing. You can see here, payment hold control is coming. Here you can give your hold and release as per the requirement. So this is how you can set at the supplier level, hold and release. So this was all about that. Thank you.